Hello, this is Slimpole, and I'm going to show you how to make loops or mega ramps with GTA 5 Creator mode, and this is the easiest way. And once you get the hang of it, you'll do it pretty much every time, first time. Uh, so what you want to do first is select your ramp. I'm going to put the large ramp down. And what you want to do is you want to select machinery and choose the electric box, and then just place it down and pick it back up and what you want to do is come to the ramp and just hover over the ramp close to the edge until you find a point you might need to change the angle of your camera but what you're going to do is eventually you're going to find a point where there we go the electric box will sit on top of the ramp and if you move across to the to the ramp you'll notice that you can't place it down but move back to machinery and you can place it down so now what we're going to do is very quickly push across to the ramp and pretty much at the same time push the place button x button for ps3 I'm not sure what it is for xbox um, so go to machinery and quickly there you go, push across an X and you'll see it places the ramp down on top of the next one. What you want to do, go back to machinery, place it down, pick it back up, find the end of the ramp, there you go, place it down. Now it will do the gradient of the loop on its own, the curve, you don't actually need to do that yourself but when you get so far this method becomes either tricky or near impossible to use so you have to use the drag and drop move yeah see we're at that point now where we can no longer if we place the ramp down it's going to go on an angle log so and obviously we don't want that so what you have to do is you have to use the drag and drop method which is very hard a lot of people just give up at this point and just make mega ramps instead and what you have to do is you have to angle the camera and you have to find the next frame see the next frame will be there so I have to find one until it comes on the angle there which is going to be very difficult here I think and then you have to drag and at the same time push the X button and if you've got it on the next frame it will actually place it as you can see there it didn't do it right I'm going to give it another try I don't think it's going to do it for me. Ah, there we go. And as you can see, it goes up. And then you just keep going around. When you get so far and it starts to come back on itself, you basically just turn the ramp around and start coming this way. It's a whole lot easier than trying to go full loop. And that's pretty much how you make loops on GTA or Mega Rumps. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and please subscribe.